Hello, welcome pen friends. Wow, is this month ever going fast? So I'm here with the third segment of inks and we're gonna cover seven today from the Dimine Ink Vent Green, the 2022. We're gonna cover day 13 through 19 and I just kind of covered up day 20 because this is the day that we're actually on, but I'm gonna save that one for the last six. So I'll, you know, we don't try to do too many at once. This, this seven may be too many at once, but I just thought for those who uh, wanted to kind of follow along that I would do these videos, but <laughs> the time it almost goes faster than I do. So we've got some interesting ones this time. We've got Upon a Star, which is a, just an amazing uh, blue with red sheen and uh, shimmer. Now, I don't have the sides of the bottle, so I know some of these are called Chameleon, and uh, I could tell you that the way that I'm kind of noticing that is when you don't really know whether it has shimmer in it or not when you first look at that bottle. That's, or it, I have all of mine in little ink vials like this. So um, <clears throat> I'm learning every day because after I do mine, then I go and usually watch someone else's and I'll say, oh, that's what it's called. Okay. But uh, I'm just kind of comparing them with what I have and enjoying them in my ink journal. So there's this one. And then uh, the next one is like a, a gold color or wheat color. It, it, three, three Kings is the name of it. Let's see. I think I need to leave them in order. So I better turn them upside down. Then we had a brown with a lot of green sheen. I don't know if that's showing on here. Whoops, I'm just making it worse with my <laughs> shadows. It's a really pretty deep brown. And then a teal ink with some almost like pink shimmer and all kinds of sheen in. We're going to look at splatters and everything on these ones that had uh, shimmer and sheen. Uh, and that compared, interestingly, to a lot of teal inks. And then uh, day 17 was an orange flame, which fit right in with a whole bunch of oranges that I have. <laughs> Orange sounds like the fruit. Um, and I've been putting the comparison panels over on Instagram. So, okay, then next up, I think when we get to the end of the video, I'll definitely do a comparison on this because I think this is one of the more unusual ones. Olive Swirl. And it's got all kinds of stuff going on, but it's just really unique within my samples anyway. So every day is a new, <laughs> a new uh, delight. And then this one is Silent Night, and it had a lot of red sheen on splatters and in the, um, you know, painted on uh, swatch. And I thought it had some complexity too. So let's get right into the ink journal and we'll just... Uh, We'll see what we have to see. <laughs> so this, this segment of seven inks started on my birthday and it was a beautiful day. Let's see, 59 was not the degrees. That was, <laughs> that's my age. <laughs> I said, it's a beautiful day. The last warm day in our forecast. Yeah, it was really, it's really been a, a, a roller coaster of weather here in South Texas. Um, this one, let's see, let, let's see if we can show you the, the splatter. It's just amazing. It's got green and uh, like shimmery particles and then it's got tons of kind of a reddish pinkish uh, sheen. It's just really amazing. And then in the nib, it, it's a bright blue, kind of a darkish, but, but bright and it, it's very pretty. I'm debating which one of these, you know, I wanted to do two comparisons and I know already I want to do the olive one. Anyway, it's got nice red sheen and shimmer and it's pretty. The water brush was really happy with it. You see how it, it just had plenty of, of um, saturation to, to wor work and react with the water brush. And I'm thinking maybe you can see uh, that bottom portion there, but it's harder to show that. <laughs> I just kind of, some of them where I was just really inspired to, I painted on a little swatch at the bottom. <clears throat> I'm really freewheeling it this year, I guess, but <laughs> okay. So then day 14 was the, the wheat colored, the three Kings. And it's really pretty. It really is. I don't like necessarily how it reacts with the water brush. And I did splat it, even though I knew we weren't looking at too much, you know, all that different, uh, not looking at shimmer or anything. Uh, overwhelmed. Yeah, that overwhelmed would, would kind of outline this month for me. I did like the chromatography. That was really cool with this one. 
it goes up it, it kind of leaves a little line and then it goes up into orange yellow and a little bit of blue it's really pretty I really you know this was pleasing I didn't think it was going to be dark enough in a nib but it is at least in the broad nib it, it is um huh I don't like rereading all the stuff I write because this is stressful. I'm in one of those stressful modes. I don't like that. So I've got to change it. Okay, so, oh boy. 14, day 15. I didn't even splatter. Oh my. Okay, I guess I thought a brown. I, you know, I should have because now I'm wondering what that brown ink with all that kind of green uh, sheen would have looked like. So I may just do that and come back with another report because I've got that six days final report to give you. And I thought that the um, chromatography on this revealed a lot. It's got a lot of pink and red. And there's another one that the comparison panel would be really neat to do. I'm just going to have to like roll the dice at the end, I guess. But it's pretty. Um, definitely you can see that it has a lot of red in it. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think I can tell more once I, I get the cards out. I, this time I'm not going to scramble them. I'm going to leave them in order because last time I did a real bad scramble on them and I was really had my wires crossed at the end. So, okay. I was in denial about how soon Christmas is. Yeah, I, that happens almost every year until I flipped my planner to the next week and saw Christmas is next Sunday. Well, as we speak, it's this Sunday. So, it, I do seem to have sort of a perception <laughs> issue with time as well as with space so <laughs> oh dear oh, it'll all be over soon okay day 16 <clears throat> is serendipity and this is pretty this is really really pretty i'm wondering if i can show you uh what these splats did let's see maybe a little bit they just it's got peachy kind of shimmer and all kinds of uh, sheen around the edges and it's it's really pretty huh and I do like to do ink splats this isn't something I just do for for uh, 30 inks 30 days or whatever I, I just like to do that with almost all of my inks if they're gonna behave that way anyway uh, shimmer and sheen and beauty yeah really pretty kind of a teal and it really was at home with some other teals too so <laughs> we'll see how many we can fit in. If I go a little faster, we might be able to fit more comparisons in. Okay, day 17. I think we, we don't need to compare on this because this is a pretty straightforward orange. It's beautiful. It has nice shading. <laughs> that was must have been grocery day. And I was writing down um, prices from both of our slips. The, this came from my receipt and this came from Manuel's receipt. <laughs> I guess it's fun to look back on, or hopefully it'll be fun if the prices drop. That'll be that'll be nice. And we could say, oh, wow, can you believe we ever paid that much for five dozen box of eggs? <laughs> um, but I like this orange. I just didn't see it as um, all that uh, unusual. Let's see. We could pull the oranges out because that's so obvious of a color that they can't get really mixed up with the rest. So I'll pull those out. <clears throat> yeah we can do that like real quick I thought it, it compared well to Scribo and Twisby orange and well Mont Blanc orange not exactly but on the camera it's looking like it um, it actually is it looks a little bit darker and <laughs> pretty intense compared to even with the Robert Oster fire on fire but they they're very similar but you can see the lighterness in the uh, swatch and then these were like Wonderland was uh, lighter, and Diamond Pumpkin is very similar. But and you know you could see that you can already see there there was going to be intense shading in Pumpkin. So and Inferno Orange is a Diamond Shimmer ink. Now that made me think that maybe they were similar, but not exact. You know, it just blows my mind how they're able to come up with inks that are not exactly the same, that are different. Um, it may be slight, but <laughs> it's really, really amazing. Okay, now that I scrambled all of those, let's look at day 18. Oh, this is the Olive Swirl. Now this one here, I had a lot of fun with, because I, I like this color, and it is readable in my broad nib, so I was, I was quite happy with it. 
I didn't like how it reacted with the water brush, but it made some really fantastic splatters. That's for sure. And it looked good in a nib. Like it was readable. And I said the shimmer on this ink is gorgeous. Oops, I got this little clip only to keep us from turning too far. So it's going to be annoying, I guess. Uh, and then down at the bottom there is both the, uh, you know, the painted on swatch and the chromatography, which is pretty too. Shows a little bit of complexity and I really like this one. We'll do a panel on this one. So I'll leave this one right here. So I want to remember to do that. Okay, and then one more ink in this seven, and I didn't splatter this one either, was Diamine Silent Night. It had a lot of red sheen when you got it painted onto something. So, nice navy, oh, well, I called it a navy blue ink. That's what I, that's how my eye sees it. <clears throat> and I was going on about extreme cold that's coming on Thursday night. Yeah, we're gonna be having some freezes and we're gonna be really, really cold. Um, this area, the way they build our houses and the way they do everything is not really prepared for that kind of weather. But we, we know now that with the changing weather, that's, that's going to happen. It's just really making me edgy. But <clears throat> I had, our windows are 1951 windows. Yes, they are. So we have some coverings and so forth that we're going to do. Okay, now let me pause it while I pull out a couple to do some comparisons and then we'll hop back onto the main page. This is like, it's like showing me how fast the days go. I'll be right back. There. Um, the reason I wanted to do a comparison panel for you here on the olive swirl is because I felt like this is one of the uh, more unique ones. You know, it, it's, um, it's not that I couldn't find other colors that were similar, but with the shimmer and everything, I haven't seen anything like that. Now, this Troublemaker ink was a shimmer ink, but it's it's much uh, much different in uh, in shade. You you see how this one looks a lot more like Noodler's Army Green, or even uh, well, these three kind of I don't know. They just I don't know how to describe it. But they're definitely different. But this is another shimmer ink that I thought was very unusual, too. And uh, that had tons of complexity, too. I remember that sample coming in an ink flight. So there wasn't really anything that just exactly matched this olive swirl. Um, and that's not too unusual. I don't have every single ink. And I have so many that, are, that I'm still swatching. Like, I've got a whole bunch of Troublemaker inks I haven't swatched yet. But I'm, I'm trying to do a few every day after I get done with, with the ink of the day from Ink Event. Because I'm wanting to start the new year with all my pens cleaned and all the inks that are in the house swatched. We'll see if, if that happens. I hope so. But anyway, this was, I thought, unique. Um... I thought I felt like anybody who likes this uh, Roar and Klinger Alt Gold Gruen might also uh, want to try this ink. I'm not sure. And again, it reminded me of Noodler's Army Green. And it's readable, so I really like it. Okay, so let me go ahead and decide on another one. Okay, so whenever, <clears throat> whenever I deal with a teal, I end up like this. I end up with all the bluish ones and all the greenish ones. And so this will be our main panel over here. And this is the ink we're comparing, Diamine Serendipity. It does have that, <clears throat> the red sheen and the uh, beautiful shimmer. You know, um, I think this may be another one of those that they called chameleon but I'm not sure on that it's going to take me a while to compare notes with other people and I didn't have the little bottles so it's not entirely clear but I, I can see the shimmer and I can see the sheen and um, it's a teal that seems to run more blue like we're over here we got some that that seem to run more green on this side although that gets very confusing um, here's emerald of Shavor. <laughs> And that's, it. I'm sure the camera's going to do a number on it too. But it's so different. It's not as deep. It's not as dark colored. <clears throat> and then, let's see. I, I think those, we don't have any other shimmers. Yes, we do. We have Troublemaker uh, Nautical Highway is a shimmer. But it has that silver shimmer. And also, it's much, um, well, 
it's it's just brighter it's more toward what i would call a a turquoise inside it you know at the base color even though i know i i like to call it a teal maybe it isn't but it, it's just uh anyway these are the ones that i want to compare it with some look a lot different some look similar i thought diamine teal looked a lot like it <clears throat> and this birmingham oil beetle that just i think i haven't had that very long um, and it had red sheen, which made me think of it too. And here's another um, Pennsylvania Railroad uh, boiler steam from Birmingham. That's interesting. That looks to have some water resistance, unless there was an error in the making of the card. And then I, I felt like Lamy Petrol was a lot darker. Maybe even greener. I don't know. I get, my eyes get so scrambled when I start looking at teals, but it's always fun. And then this is the Diamine Yuletide. Oh, how come I've got, okay, Garland is underneath. <laughs> okay, this is one of the ones I would say goes over here, because we're looking at more bluish ones, and then here's the green one. Diamine Garland Shimmer, yeah. Boy, it's going to be fun for me to put those all back where they go. But that's the way it is. That's part of the fun for me. So this is the one I just wanted to compare. Just so that if you have any of these, you could kind of place it. That's a lot darker. I bet you this uh, black ivy is a lot darker in a nib. It probably looks really black. Where, let's see, we were just in there. Let's see what serendipity. Get a little reminder of what it looked like. <clears throat> Yeah, it, it managed to stay blue in the nib. I don't know what it's looking like through the camera, though. But to my eye, I see lots of shading. I, I'm, I'm picking up on both shimmer and sheen in my broad nib writing samples, too. So it's really pretty. I guess it must have made an impression on me because I was, you know, I just kind of uh, in a fog right now, but I was bright enough to write beauty at the bottom. <laughs> so yeah, it really made an impression. So let's jump back onto the main page there, which is fast getting filled in and see what our thoughts are overall so far. There. Okay, so I feel like out of these seven days that we just talked about, I think the olive swirl was the one that was the most delightful to me. Um, you know, I look at a lot of oranges and browns and even the wheat colored ones and teal, whether they have sheen or, and shimmer or not. But I don't see a lot in this uh, beautiful color like this. It's just so unique. So anyway, this was my favorite of the segment. But I have to tell you, nothing has uh, topped spiced apple yet for me uh, in, in this series so far. So, But there's some really good company here there's some really pretty inks so it's been um you know the the positive spot of every day to to uh come to the ink desk and and be here splattering ink and writing with each one and so big thank you to Marilyn for the samples of this because i wouldn't have definitely wouldn't have been able to do it this year if not for for um the generous donation so thank you and uh, this one that we've covered up, we'll do next time along with the other five. I can't believe just five more. One, two, three, four, five more days as I'm uh, filming this. By the time you see it, it could be all, we could be already, um, you know, through December. <laughs> you never know. So what's been your favorite so far? Has, have you had a favorite? Or are you getting colorblind like me where <laughs> stuff is starting to kind of uh, mesh together? I was trying to find the main uh, stack of cards and I don't know where they are. I may have to make a whole nother set for for Matt because I can't, <laughs> I keep losing them because what happens is one will compare to another one that's already on this uh, group. So the main uh, stack will get all mix, mixed up over and over again. So <clears throat> we'll just have to see what shape it's in come the 25th. That's so funny. Um, I think last year I made two sets right off the bat knowing what was what it was, you know, I was a little bit closer to the uh, the ink reviewing uh, world at that time. So I so far spiced apples my favorite but out of these it was the, definitely the olive swirl. And I guess you know the serendipity made quite an impression too. Um, there wasn't anything ugly in any of this as far as I'm concerned. So <laughs> I will see you down in the comments and uh, hopefully you're keeping your head uh, from spinning and even yourself a little more grounded and, and that's going to be my goal the rest of the day i'm going to go and see what i can do 
to uh, put order at my pen desk and start tomorrow on uh, the next ink, which I haven't even looked at. It's, it's in the Christmas tree advent calendar. So I'll talk to you guys soon and we'll see you later. Bye for now.